So I did a little survey to, and got the results today on uh, people that are in the 60 day challenge uh, to understand you know, what their goals were out of it, like what sales targets they were getting at and what sales targets they were looking to achieve. Um, also um, how they were getting on towards their targets but most importantly for me um, what was getting in their way and what were the issues that they were having so I'm going to share just a screenshot I'm going to slip, slip it into the video here but the the main thing the main issue that people were experiencing uh, was time um, focus confidence was another thing but time 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 was the main thing by far I think 44% of people uh, mentioned that as the top thing that was holding them back also on the videos I know a few of you have talked about to-do lists and how do you get everything done in the day and all that kind of thing and uh, so that's what I'm going to talk about today okay so how do we get more time and right we don't get more time that's obvious right we've just got to you know make our time as effective as possible so a couple of things I do like two things I do are um, first make sure that the time I'm using is the highest and best use of my time so I determine um, what is the highest and best use of my time for the business and for myself and I try and concentrate on those on those things and then the second thing is then is I you know with you know emails and messages and stuff like that that's coming into me either delete it delegate or make it disappear one or one or one of those three things so that that kind of helps to a certain extent but the main and most important thing that I do is getting my to-do list all written up and all done the day before so I do on Sunday night I do my to-do list for Monday on Monday I do it for Tuesday etc etc so what's prompted me to do this is that yesterday um, so I was away on Monday um, and I had done my to-do list on Friday and I you know I just kind of topped it up on on, on, uh, on Tuesday morning and um, and what I found was that I really it, it just I didn't have the same uh, emotional connection with the with the to-do list and I really didn't get through half the amount of stuff that I would normally get done I got loads of work done but not really highest and best use of my time and not really the stuff that was on that list I in fact I only glanced at the list a few times during the day so that taught me um, and I know it's only one day of evidence but I think it would be fair to say that doing my to-do list the day before has a serious impact on how I perform during the day and and that impact comes from the fact that you know I spend um, the you know it's in my subconscious from the night before I sleep on it and I'm completely aware in the morning of everything that has to come that has to be done as soon as I wake up and um, and and it, you know it's 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 written it's I don't I don't do it online I actually write it on paper as well um, but but that and I when I write it I kind of write it like it's it's animated it's bold and I and I visualize everything that's on it so I think all those things help me to make sure that what I need to get done is up here it's in my in the back of my brain it's in my subconscious and it means that I can get way more stuff done during the day so how do we get more time we just have to be more efficient how do we get more efficient do your to-do list the day before and I put everything on my to-do list I'm going to show you one in a second um, so everything on my to-do list if I take an example here I've got my to-do list here which has got the time I'm getting up in the morning 5 30 this morning um, I've got to do some stretches for my physiotherapist that's on it um, I'm not going to drink wine today so I've got no alcohol on it I'm going to stay calm today because some days I'm not that's on it uh, I've got to make sure I prioritize and then I've got a whole lot of stuff for work and I'll show you this in a sec but um, there's also personal stuff on here so tomorrow's the start of school I've got to make sure that we're ready for school tomorrow um, I've got down here to meet my son where he is so I mean by, by that I mean if he wants to play I'm going to play with him if he wants to you know there's no point in me um, trying to get him to do what I do what I want I want I want to do what he wants to do and make that time more valuable for him so you know all that kind of stuff and so um, so I think it's it's critical to do this the day before um, you know as I say if when I don't do it the day before the day I didn't do it the day before I had uh, problems and and I think it's important to get it into your subconscious and let me give you one example of like this going into your subconscious so a couple of weeks ago we have this huge um, racing horse racing festival here in Galway and my wife always wants to go to it every year and I do not she's always asking me can we go can we go and I say look can you not get somebody else to bring you because I just don't like the crowds but I was talking to a friend of mine and I told him this and he said you know you really should bring your wife to that and I put it on my to-do list the day before so the next day I was in the office and something I heard something out of uh, you know across the office that somebody was entering a competition to win tickets for the for these races because they're actually sometimes hard to come by and um, so I went over and I said can I can I enter that and they said yes 
and by that evening I actually had won the tickets to uh, to the races and myself and I my wife uh, went to the races I'm also gonna put in a picture of that to show you but um, but that just like goes to show that when something's in your subconscious you're attracted to reasons and ways of solving that issue and that was a really simple way for me to solve that problem and uh, and if I hadn't had that written down it wasn't in my subconscious I probably wouldn't even have heard that right um, so you know this this is just it's a it's a really important thing for me um just to write this down to animate it to visualize it and also to make it fun you know so when you see my page written down here you'll see there's all sorts of you know circles and squares and all that kind of thing around it because that's what i'm trying to i'm just trying to, to animate it for myself and um you know and if you do this here's what's going to happen you're going to get more shit done you're going to get better shit done you're going to have you're going to be able to get your sales calls done if you just don't feel confident for that kind of thing you put it in here you will be far more able to do it you're going to be able to get more meetings done therefore you're going to be able to grow your business and at the end of the day that's why we're here so if you want more time make sure that you work at the highest best use of your time make sure you get a to-do list done the day before as part of your routine okay i don't think that right just writing out the list and just leaving it like that that's not going to help right you need to have more than that you know you need to be committed you need to have your your manual you need to make sure that you're you know you're you arrive at your desk and you're full of energy because you've done your exercise in the morning and that kind of thing as well right it's not just writing it out the day before but writing it out the day before is a key part of this write it out animate it make it fun make sure everything is in there start to finish you know for me it's what time i get up it's what i'm going to eat during the day it's no wine <laughs> it's that kind of thing and uh, for me that makes a massive massive difference so that's how i find more time and that's how i deal with that challenge that i've seen that you guys are having at the moment so guys i, I said i'd share um my to-do list so here's an example of one of my to-do lists so um you can see this one uh it's from thursday talks about me you know what time I get up in the morning and the personal stuff as well as the um, as the business stuff that I need to get done during the day so uh, you know my daily routine I don't write that in here anymore because that's just done but you'll see things here like I mentioned earlier on stay calm no alcohol get my stretches done for my physiotherapist uh, get ready for school um, and then some of the other stuff that I that I need to do during the day. It's all kind of animated and I've kind of visualized each of these things as I do them. See that at the bottom there it says get to bed at, at, at 10.30. And um, and what this means is that, you know, I've looked at, I've, been, I've looked at the outcomes of these things and make sure that I get uh, done what I, what, I, what I want to get done. And I've also kind of, you know, got some notes here about, you know, if I, if I have to, let me just see something here. Um, so I've got something for, for training here. So it's not just right, do the training, right? I've got, um, uh, with, with the training, I've got to make sure it's fun, make sure it's challenging and make sure it hits the issues, right? So stuff like that, just to, you know, to focus my brain and stuff. And I've got a meeting here with Kevin and it's like, we make, sure, make sure we review, make sure we do the numbers and make sure we do the system. So it's not just like meeting with Kevin, it's not just training, right? There's gotta be more to it than that. And I find that when I write out, you know, just a little bit more on it, it certainly helps me a lot to kind of to, to focus on exactly what I need to do. And then because this is is ingrained in my subconscious, then what I find is that even if I'm hanging around waiting for something, so uh, I'm just waiting for a meeting for a second or something like that, I, I nearly don't need to even pull this out. But I know, actually, you know what, there's a thing that I can do. It's only going to take me 20 seconds. I can get it now done while I'm waiting for the meeting or it takes a couple of minutes or whatever that is. So that's the to-do list. And um, then here is a photo of me and my wife at the races. So I think that's just a, a good example of, you know, getting that, that subconscious to actually work for you. Because there's no way I would have actually done that if I hadn't committed to that, if I hadn't written that down on paper, and if I hadn't done it the day before. Because, because it was in my subconscious, as I said... I just immediately picked up on that kind of tiny sound from behind me from across the room that somebody there was a chance of me, you know, getting to the races uh, that that following day. And um, and you, that made a huge difference to my wife. She was so happy to be able to do that because she's wanted to do it for years. And I was just it wasn't my thing. And actually, I did enjoy it. Um, but I just, uh, you know, I just, it was one of those things that I would say, you know, it's just not my thing. I just don't do that, which was unfair to her. Um, so, so that's how the subconscious works. Get this into your subconscious and, you know, make sure that, um, you do it, you do it the day before. It just, as I've learned, doesn't work as well when you do it, 
that day or in the morning or three days before or anything else. Another one thing I just noticed that I have on this list here is um, I've written another affirmation just on this list that's not in my uh, manual. And it's why is it that I love having massive work done by 11 a.m. in the morning, right? And that's because I found sometimes that maybe the morning was a little bit slow or um, and I was doing more, pushing more of the work through to the evening or something like that. So just by writing that, that made me come in and get stuck in straight away and find a big job that I can get out of the way early by 11 a.m. rather than doing the easy things first. Uh, I've also got hydration on here to make sure, you know, I don't forget that. I've also got to make sure I do, you know, take a five minutes out here and there for my meditation and that kind of thing. I've got, uh, I use the Pomodoro 25 minutes timer of working and then five minutes break. So various different things like that uh, can can help as well. And, um, and so that's what I do and that's how I manage uh, to find more time. So hopefully um, this kind of thing can can also work for you.